Thanks for staying with us. All right, whether you're the crafty type, whether you're artistic, even if you just like being outside, enjoying the sunshine and walking around, you are going to love the Kentucky Art Market's new fine arts and craft market that is going on this weekend. We've been talking about it all the time. Dan, you've been a regular on the show as we discuss like it. I have to move in over here. Well, hey, we're okay <laughs> with that. Well, you brought Kathy Conroy with you today, yes, another I talented do. artist. Thank you. And we should introduce Dan for anybody who's missed him. You are, have organized this entire event. Yes, and it's all, all for, for free. And we actually donate our time uh, and all the money that's produced from this goes into the church, which goes back to outreach within our community. So it's all done for us giving back to the community. Which is amazing. And you're doing a lot of things. But what makes the art market different from other art fairs in town? Well, it's predominantly Kentucky artists. And I want to make sure everybody understands that it, this is held at the Woodland Christian Church. Um, but I brought a whole bunch of samples of that work with us today. Starting at the far end here, we have Steve Hartzell, an incredible clay artist. Uh, we have a photographer here from, um, from um, Roger Ballard and the Gospel of the Tub with all their incredible body uh, and bath works. Everything is just so, so amazing. And of course, we're going to jump right in because yeah, the first tell us thing, about yes, Kathy, Kathy, when I saw your piece, the first thing I asked was it an oil painting? Not that I'm an art expert. But you both said, no, 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 no. Tell us what it really is. OK, the boards are actually done um, on a masonite board. And there's a very thin layer of white clay on top of the masonite board. And then on top of that is black India ink. So I use different tools. My tool of preference is a scalpel blade. So I'm actually scratching into the clay. I'm scratching down to the clay level from the black. And you're just creating, I mean, it gives it, it's. It's so lifelike. Yes, and so since the clay is so thin, I have to do a lot of thin, thin layers on the clay. And depending on how much I press on the clay, that's where the different tonal qualities come from. It's, uh, it's, I don't even know how to explain how intricate of a piece it is. It's absolutely stunning. Thank how you. did you get into something like this? Well, I've been an artist my whole life, but I started Scratchboard when I went back to college. My, my youngest was in high school. And I went to the Art Institute in Cincinnati. I actually got my degree in graphic arts, but um, we had a two-week class on Scratchboard, and I fell in love with it. So Scratchboard is all I do now. I don't do other mediums anymore. So I don't even know if I've ever seen something like it. How long does a piece like that take to complete? Um, that piece probably, I know, took me at least 100 hours because there's so many layers in it. Wow, and you have a booth there this weekend. I do have a booth, yeah. Please go check out Kathy's work because it just, I, I don't, it, Every feather you have scratched in there, and it's, it's just detailed. absolutely very amazing. Detailed. Thank absolutely you. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Very, very cool. We're also going to have an artist there that's going to have a full-size mare and foal uh, out of metal. Really? So, yes. So the, the, the mare actually weighs over 1,000 pounds. It's going to take a whole lot of us to get it off the It's up, a life-size horse, yes, then. Yes, life-size horse. Wow. So yeah. there's going to be all kinds of things going on Everything this Everything from, uh, from Cappy's ca caramel corn and candy to uh, Boone Creek Creamery with their homemade cheeses. Well, and so Dan, you're doing a giveaway as well. Let's talk about that. I'm donating a $3,000 piece of artwork. All you have to do is stop by the Field and Main Bank, and you'll be able to sign up to win it. That's all. It's Anybody can sign up. All you got to do is come to the show and sign up. And this isn't just any artwork. This is your own artwork. Let's right. talk about that. What do right. you do? I'm a mixed media person, so the piece that I'm giving away is fused glass and patinaed copper. Wow. So probably yeah. glitters in the lights yeah. up there. Oh, yeah. You hang them, right? Yeah. Very, very cool. Where can we find more information about the art fair? Go to the uh, Kentucky Art Market Facebook and or call me on my cell, 859-559-3171. Very cool. And then, Kathy, do you have a website where we can check out your work? I do. It's artbykathyconroy.com. All right. So you can kind of get a taste of everything. Hours of the art market? It's uh, Saturday, Sunday from 10 until uh, till 5. All right. There's your plans for the weekend. We have already decided for you. Thank you both so much for being here. Super excited to Thank see you. everything. So, so talented. That's just amazingly impressive, Thank Kathy. You. Thank and Dan, you. thanks for bringing this to town. Glad to be here. All right, go check them out and stay with us because resident chef Allison Davis is changing things up in the Wild Time Kitchen. She's making monkey bread and it has a little twist. Stay tuned for that recipe when we return after the break.